Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Word. In this module, I want to show you how you can change from a portrait page to a landscape page without affecting the portrait page. So basically, I want perhaps multiple portrait pages, a few landscape pages, and then some more portrait pages. Now normally, if you want to change page orientation, you would go to the layout tab and just select orientation, landscape. The whole page and the whole document, in fact, will flick over to landscape, even if I had more than one page. So I'll just do control enter for a second page. You can see that they're, they're all landscape. If I put them back to portrait, they're all portrait. I'm just gonna backspace that page off so I'm back to one page. What you have to do is use breaks. So you have to go to the layout tab and this area breaks. Now you have page breaks, which you can also do with the control and enter, column breaks, etc. etc. But I need section breaks. And I'm going to go section break next page. You've also got that option, but you can use that option when you're doing columns. But this is the one I need for the whole page. So if I click on that, I get a second page, and I'm going to do it again so I get three pages altogether section break next page now when I click into this first section what you can do in this section if I go and change the orientation to landscape you'll notice that it hasn't affected the other two sections if I put it back to portrait it's back as portrait so if I go into this section set that as landscape only that section is affected so whichever section you click in, that is the only one that will change. Now, if I just do undo to bring it back, that is one great feature. Now, if I wanted multiple pages to be that way around, I would go to this section, do the landscape, and then just type away. And you'll always get, if I do control enter, just to quickly get a second page, you'll see that that second page was still orientated as landscape i'll just zoom that in a little bit you can see it there so control enter i get another one so uh, as long as i'm in that section wherever i whenever i create a new page or get to the bottom if i'm typing that will create another page of that type if i go into this section and do control enter i'm back as a portrait page now I'm going to do undo a lot to get rid of all them back to square one just zoom up a little bit too much what you can also do if I just put this section back to the same as everything else is if I double click on the header you see you've got header section one footer section one etc two two now, if I put my name as a header at the top, Steve, you'll notice it cascades across all the pages. However, if I click onto this one and break this, I'm on the header and footer tab, click that off, that will allow me to change that to my second name. And the third section is looking at that, no longer that, but I can do that as well in this third section. Take that link to previous off and then type my first name again so Steve Saxton Steve so they're all separate and again if I come out of this if I do control enter on this center section it's picking up the header just from there so it's not going back to the this header or picking that one up I'll just undo that now in terms of page numbering the same rule applies if I go into the first section and insert page numbering let's say I go for uh, bottom of the page just page one so I'll insert the page one. It's gone to the top and do that. Page number, bottom of page. There it is, one, two, three. But let's say I want this one to be Roman numerals. So I highlight it and I go to page numbers, format page numbers. And in there you can change it. So I'll change it to these Roman numerals. I'll go for capital ones. Okay. So I, that's still on two. Three. If I want this to be one, two, three, starting at two, I need to break the link to the first section. 
and then I need to get this to start at page one. It's on two at the minute. Just highlight it. Page numbers format start at one. Okay. So that's got I or one, and then this one wants to be a B. So again, I need to break the link, highlight that, change that to a ABC, and get it to start at A. Start at A, okay. So I, one, A. So if I click into this section, and do control, enter, I should get a two eyes, which I do. If I click into this page, control enter, I should get one, two. Just zoom it up a little bit so you can see it. So one, two, that went. So I've gone a bit one and then two. And this section, if I do a page break, it should go A, B. A, B, you can see that across the bottom. So what we're dealing with here is using section breaks so that you can break a document down into different orientations first of all and if you also need to change the um, numbering you can change the numbering so if I just undo that because I didn't go into the middle section I forgot I did two pages so I've got that one orientation landscape that section in the middle those two pages have changed they're the only two that's changed the header is different, the footer is different. So that's just how you use section breaks and page orientation in Microsoft Word. So hopefully that was a useful video. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you in the next one.